Who will have a better week one performance, Carson Wentz or Dak Prescott? We're about to discuss it. You're watching the MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment. take on sports fan entertainment here on a Saturday I'm a little bored so I figured hell let me just make a video let's have a discussion me and you the viewers let's talk about who's gonna have a better week one performance Carson Wentz or Dak Prescott two rookie quarterbacks starting week one one against the Browns one against the New York Giants but before I get into that one programming note the SFE, the Sports Fan Entertainment Picks Challenge. This is your last chance to join and have a chance at beating me. The link and the password to this challenge, to this group, ESPN Pigskin Pick'em Challenge in the description box below. We have 404 people in this thing. If you want to challenge your wits against mine and 403 other people, well, this is the place to do it. Everyone's joining this thing. Even my damn roommate has joined this Pigs Challenge. Everybody's joining it. You got to join it. Right now, we are the second highest or second largest group on ESPN that is not ESPN affiliated. And it's all thanks to you guys. Huge group. People trying to get in, but only my fans can get in. Again, down in the description box below. Completely free. And I decided this as well. I am going to come up with some prizes for the top three, uh, top one, top two, top three. We'll see how the money ends out. Right now, I'm broke, okay? I'm in college, guys. I, the college that costs $65,000 a year, okay? I'm broke. But, you know, by the time December rolls around, I should have some money in my pocket to be able to have some prizes. So I don't know what the prizes will be yet, but just look out for that again. Last chance or you will be behind. Link and password down in the description box below. So let's talk about these quarterbacks both in the NFC East. Now one was taken with the second overall pick. The other was taken with a fourth round pick, I believe around 108th overall or something like that. Now when the Cowboys took Dak Prescott, I gave this grade an A. Let's look back at that. Next, we move on to my favorite pick. My favorite pick in this Dallas Cowboys draft, and that is Dak Prescott, Mississippi State, in the fourth round as well. I give it an absolute A. This is a guy that can be a consistent and good backup quarterback for you until Tony Romo is out of the door, and assuming you can develop him correctly, can be a starting quarterback for you. I had a third round grade on him. You get him at the end of the fourth round. You didn't reach and take a Connor Cook or a Christian Hackerberg, to which I say good. You get a really good quarterback here in the fourth round. I give it an A. You see, I kind of knew what I was talking about, okay? And I don't know why other people didn't see Dak Prescott as a potential starting quarterback. I saw that at Mississippi State. I saw that on film. When the Philadelphia Eagles took Carson Wentz, I gave that an A-. minus. Now, in the preseason, because that's really what we should go off of, you know, for the most part, I saw some things that I liked and some things that I disliked. Real quick, you know, the argument against Dak Prescott right now is that, oh, it's just the preseason. You know, you can't take the preseason seriously and there is some truth to that but let me explain this as well who do you think is better okay do you think that the Seahawks second string or Auburn is better which one of those teams is better because we love to look at Dak Prescott versus Auburn or Dak Prescott versus LSU or Dak Prescott versus Tennessee. We like to pull up that game film and we like to dissect it and we like to act as if it matters because it does, okay? Now, which one is better? The Seahawks second string or the Auburn defense? I'm gonna go with the Seahawks second string because on that Auburn defense, they'll be lucky if two or three players tops make the NFL, last in the NFL for more than five years. The average backup team in the NFL is better than the average college team. The only college defense that can come close would be Alabama and maybe, depending on what year, Michigan State or some other teams as well. So Dak Prescott's games in the preseason, they matter, okay? 
even when teams aren't game planning, the, I'm not just going to be a Seahawks linebacker and look at Dak Prescott in front of my face and just not intercept him because I really don't care right now. When you're a football player and you're on the field, you're playing relatively to your maximum. Maybe not 100%, but at least 80% because you just don't want to sit back and get your ass kicked, okay? Your human competitiveness, uh, sorry, your human competitiveness kicks in, you want to play hard, you want to make a play, especially if you're trying to make the team. So let's get that out of the way right now. The preseason does matter. Now, to a certain extent, we can't look at what Dak Prescott did in preseason, you know, over a 100 passer rating, and then say, okay, this equals 100% in the regular season, or 100 passer rating in the regular season. It doesn't equal that. However, we now know Dak Prescott is a player in this league, and we have to consider that moving forward. Let's move back to Carson Wentz. Okay, now let's try to dissect in what we saw in terms of what we actually saw in terms of his mechanics and how he actually played. Now Carson Wentz's first game and his only game in the preseason, I really wasn't that impressed by. He was 12 of 24, uh, 12 of 24 for 89 passing yards, and I didn't love his footwork. I thought his mechanics were sloppy. I thought his accuracy was pretty awful. I thought he was escaping the pocket too early. You know, he made some nice throws on the run, but, you know, he was a guy that I compared a lot to Blake Bortles and Joe Flacco in terms of Joe Flacco. He doesn't really play like Joe Flacco, but, you know, they, they came from small, uh, smaller schools and, you know, they were winners, and, and he really knows how to pull games out in the fourth quarter, and you're going to be seeing that this season. And in terms of play style, Blake Bortles. And then Blake Bortles was a guy that was compared a lot to Jake Locker. And I saw a lot of Jake Locker, unfortunately, in uh, Carson Wentz's game early. I mean, it was just inaccuracy, running around a little bit too much, you know, throwing on the run, pretty accurate on the run, but you just can't have sustained success in the NFL with this play style. And that's why Jake Locker isn't in the NFL. And that's why Carson Wentz got injured after his first preseason game in the NFL. You stay in the pocket. You learn to be accurate from the pocket. That's what I need to see from him. And I saw on field, I saw some throws that, again, they can get away from him. He can be inaccurate. The ball placement isn't great with Carson Wentz. He's not a guy that can sit in the pocket and just dissect teams with perfect ball placement. He has some issues there. Dak Prescott, to me, is a more accurate passer than job uh, than. Um, Carson Wentz on a pass-to-pass -pass basis. I honestly believe that. But what Carson Wentz has is he has the ability to me to sit in the pocket and read the defense I mean, if he stays in the pocket. Again, he needs to stay in the pocket. But once he does, okay, once he's committed to staying in the pocket, I do believe he's better at reading defenses. I saw more of that uh, for him in college than I did Dak Prescott. Um, the answer here is Dak Prescott. I think Dak Prescott will have the better week one game. When we look at their opponents, okay, the Browns defense, to me, it's it's definitely worse than the Giants defense. I know a lot of people like to trash the Giants defense. Of all the people they sign in free agency, some of them will be busts. Okay, so Olivier Vernon, Janoris Jenkins, Damon Harrison, you know, one of them will probably be busts. But the other ones I think will be good. And they're going to help this defense out. Landon Collins, they drafted Darian Thompson, two young rising safeties. They're going to play better for the Giants this year. The linebackers aren't very good at all. Devon Kennard is okay. So I think the Giants defense is still not good good, maybe not even average, but it's better than the Browns defense where they literally have nothing. They're hoping to God that Joe Hayden can just come out and play better. We'll see about that. I'm not trusting that right now at all. They uh, released Paul Kruger, so they don't have any pass rushers right now, any proven ones. They're asking for their first round pick, Emmanuel Ogba, to come in and get 10 sacks. It's not going to happen. Okay, so the Browns defense stinks. With that said, the Eagles wide receivers stink, and I can't trust them to get open against the Browns defense. We're talking about Nelson Aguilar, Josh Huff. Jordan Matthews is okay, and I think he's underrated. I think people trash Jordan Matthews too much. Guys, he got 996 yards last year. You don't do that unless you're decent. He may only be a number two in this league, but that's a pretty damn good number two. I think Aaron Rodgers would turn Jordan Matthews into a 1,200-yard receiver. Okay, so let's calm down on the hate for Jordan Matthews. 
Doria Green Beckham, he still needs to learn the playbook and all that. So Wentz just has worse weapons right now. I mean, it's 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 not too much worse, but hey, you know, Dak Prescott has freaking Dez Bryant and Jason Witten, and those two I think are just better than what the Carson Wentz has. Although I do like Zach Ertz over Jason Witten. I like Dez Bryant so much over the rest of the Eagles wide receivers. It's not even close. Uh, Jordan Matthews, as I said, is underrated, but he's not even close to Dez Bryant. So I think the answer here is Dak Prescott, but what do you guys think? Comment down below who will have the better week one game, Dak Prescott or Carson Wentz. And then this is one more thing I have to say before I leave here. Although I think Dak Prescott will be better statistically and better analytically, I think Dak Prescott will end up with the loss, and I think Carson Wentz will end up with the win, and I think that may be all that matters. Eagles fans would just talk trash to Cowboys fans saying, well, we're one to know in your own one and there will be nothing that you'll be able to say to that. So there you go. What are your thoughts on this? Dak, Pre uh, Dak Prescott or Carson Wentz, who will have the better week one game? Comment down below. I want to know what you think, and we're going to find out real soon. Until next time, this has been the MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment, and I'm out. <laughs>